All right, guys, we're back. Round two, Operation Foxheart coming up. It's June 14th, 2017. It's a Wednesday night. We are pretty full. And uh, my name's Muff. I'm here with CMYK Matter. Hello, hello. Back again. We're going to be spitting fire at you. You know, for the most part, we're just in command briefing right now. Satan is briefing his squad leaders, who are Odessa, Truth Realm, Pure Paradise, and Kirkley. Things are going to be switching around this uh, this time, so Muff will be on the U.S. side, and I will be on the Insurgents, so you guys can follow that. That's correct. Remind them who your team leaders and command is over there. Absolutely. So the command for the Insurgent forces on this round is going to be Best Pony. Then he's got his wonderful squad leads with him, Shadowed Ritual, who had a rough time in Aiden IED last round, but still managed to successfully get a squad in position. They've also got Server Air 404, Tedish, and Xbit. So all pretty experienced squad leads, and Best Pony leading them to victory, hopefully. How you, who do you got on your side there, Muff? Well, I, I already... Oh, you did. You want Satan. Yeah, Kirkley, Pure Paradise, Odessa, and Truth Realm. But we've also got a bunch of cameras that you guys are going to see. So we'll go over them real quick just to get that out of the way and give these guys their dues because they're they're the ones that they're the ones that make this possible. We'll flash each one of them for a few seconds. We'll start with Tedish. He's a squad leader for the U, uh, the insurgents this round. Next up is going to be another squad leader for the insurgents, and it's server error 404. We're just going to continue the squad leader theme and go to Truth Realm. He is for the U.S. this round. They push squad two. That's your squad. Another camera we've got is it's crispy. He ate an IED last round with Shadowed Ritual. I didn't realize uh, that's our next guy, as a matter of fact, Shadowed Ritual. He is squad leader for It's Crispy on the Insurgents this time. Next up's Jay Remick. Followed by Command for the Insurgents, Best Pony. Now we've got four more. That's Hyper Evo. Followed by another squad leader for the insurgents in X-Bit. Uh, uh, next up, a crazy Russian. And then last but not least is Merrick 362. Well, your first person Just camera is making it really cool, so you right can see what it's like to have boots on the ground for alley. these operations. They always stack We've got there. the nifty sky high cam, really the cross. overview and everything, but those guys, they can only rely on their individual senses. That's where it's really intense. All right. Yeah, looking at the insurgents, it looks like they're going to be pushing off quite a number of heavier forces on the west. They are going to be trying to mine up these bridges, place IEDs, and get as many guys as they can over here on the west. It looks like they're expecting initial contact, and if they get initial contact on the west they are expecting to push on it really hard and then they are going to pull back if need be so that seems to be what their plan of attack is here even when pony is on defense he finds a way to attack it seems he's a he's a forward kind of guy you know i like that that's the way i play keep pushing forward we're about to do us briefing yeah looks like satan's lining everybody up Please call my mom and, uh, you know, tell her I'm not going to get home for Christmas. Right, woman. Yeah. I don't know if they're quite ready yet. Truth, why are we rushing the bridge? I'm scared. Hey, short us the tallest. Come on. I don't want to I'm still not sure what the U.S. are going to do, if they're going to platoon brief or not. No, no, One some black people will be there. We shall see. Looks like INS is having their little briefing with just their squad leads right now, and we'll see if they just let... Each of their squad leads handle it. That might be the case, considering they're going to be spreading these forces out over a pretty wide arc. They might just let everyone handle their own squads and let them tell them what they're doing. 
Sorry, Chad. Oh, Wait, man. What? What the Make sure fuck they don't lose doing? hope. Oh, uh, shit. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Yeah, we'll here. just keep watching. Got this. The insurgents just hanging out in the palace that they have to defend. This is going to be their home. They need to not let the U.S. push in through here. They do have quite a few benefits on their side. They've got two assault rifles per squad, one raider per squad, one scout per squad, and also their medic, as well as the use of two dishka emplacements that they can place anywhere that they want, as well as one lodgy dump worth of supplies so they can place sandbags to kind of stop areas from being advanced into. Those scouts and those raiders, those are... Those are the scary guys. They've got those IEDs, those mines, those AT grenades. They can do a lot of damage to any of the vehicles. Over on the U.S. side, what do they have for us in the way of assets? Remind the folks. Oh, they got two automatic riflemen and a medic per squad. They also get a GL per oh, squad. Yeah. And the whole platoon gets themselves one Humvee. It's an open top, which the U.S. utilized pretty well last round until it yeah. ran over top of an AT mine. Uh, that ended Best Pony their command really quick with right. his driver so those those scouts and raider kits are, are are clutch especially with the lack of any lats well we saw that raider kit or the scout kit actually come into use early in the round taking out shadowed ritual as well as fig i believe it was fig Perhaps and one. it's crispy fig and it's crispy taking out Three folks, three. including a command element, without even needing south. any direct contact to mine, set that up uh, and just waited. And when he saw folks pushing into that Here compound, he set it off and bridge, down out, goes a squad lead. So that's rough. All right, I've got a full, keep got a full platoon brief going on in the U.S. We Let's do it. Zoom into it right now, and uh, we'll hear most of it. Mines. When the Humvee's moving there, squad one will be moving to this mark on the AR just north of pa police station bridge squad two is going to be following them on the marksman mark to the south on that little hill they're going to be covering the bridge while squad three and squad four prepares to assault the bridge every medic in the squad every medic from squad one squad three squad four are going to throw smokes on the bridge on the other side of the bridge as soon as those build, Squad 3 is going to cross the bridge, clear the, clear the compounds on the lat mark there, just to the northeast. Squad 4 is going to clear the compounds and move to the southeast. Let's give you a fucking water. There you go. As soon as you guys find a good location to hold and defend, watching all the doorways, all your corners, Squad 1 and Squad 2 are going to bound past you, using the compounds to move closer to Palace. Alright, so, I don't want to be hitting Palace from this friendly fob mark as well. They got a lot of windows watching that. Try and use this fob mark to get in. It's really up to your, your squad leads discretion to find as much cover as, you, as they can before you guys push in. Be careful with grenades as well when we're crossing the bridge for that stage. Just make sure you find which compound the enemies are in and drop the grenade on their head. ARs, I want you to be laying down a lot of fucking fire on every single window you think they might be poking their little turban heads out. Okay? Copy that. Are there any questions? Yeah, no, um, do you want us to stay hidden until we get to the bridge? Or do you want us to just go down the road? Uh... If you find a location that gives the best amount of cover, this, this south jump. and hold the southern bridge. They will place a dishka somewhere along the road back there. Uh, if any of you were here along for the last run through of Operation Foxheart, you'll remember that Wook killed 12 people with it because the U.S. decided to try and push that bridge. So given the utility of that dishka position, we're going to try and use it again and hope they do the same thing. Uh, if they decide to go middle bridge, Squad 2 is going to be waiting for them. Squad 2 will be establishing a... HMG emplacement up on the rooftop there. Charlie 3, keypad 4, mark keypad 9. So if the Humvee tries to cross into that police station area at all, Nishka should have eyes on and should be able to light it up pretty good. 
Now, as for squads three and four, we're not going to just sit here and let the Americans take the fight to us. No, we are going to go and flank them and try and kill them very quickly. So three and four are going to make their push up to ancient Kanaan. And then four is going to take the far northern part of it, and uh, three is going to take the far southern flank, and they're just going to kind of sweep through. If they make contact with the U.S., and it seems like the U.S. is trying to push up to those northern bridges, they will fall back to the island. However, if it appears that the U.S. is mostly trying to engage on the bridges squads one and two are holding, and is sending only minimal elements or no elements at all towards ancient Kanat, then three and four will swing down like a door and just slam on top of the sides of the American invaders, sending their bodies piling into the river as we dance victoriously on the grave. Any questions? Won't they know we're capping Ancient since we capped the other two points? Well, we want them to Just know that curious. they're out there. We're out there. Because, we, I mean, we have all the so energies. the answer is downside. yes, but only if you linger in Ancient Kanat. I'd just, just avoid the cap zone. It's not too hard to avoid. It's not a terribly large cap zone, so. They're going to expect you either way, so. Yeah. And remember, once you get across that footbridge there, you can literally just walk along the side of the river and just cross the small river there. Like, see this line of, of light machine guns? You can just use that. Just follow the path and you won't go in ancient canal at all if you're, you're worried about capping it. So. But wouldn't yeah. it be better to cap it? No. No. Because then they'll know you're uh, there. We don't want them yeah. to know we're going to we be there. The... Main team. We have all the HMGs of down south. Okay, like, I mean, half half of the battle in any of these operations is seeing your enemy and knowing the position of your enemy before they know yours. That's the other half like, is killing them. Well, oh, you heard it there. Best Pony. So He has no decided that he hummus. is going to Does set up his two Donald dishkas have hummus? off to the, the west. And after he sets up those two dishkas, then he is going to be pushing two squads across the river up here to the north to ancient Kanat. And they are going to take the fight to the Americans. They're going to push out west and try to actually take the fight to them. A risky strategy, but we'll see if it pays off for them. Yeah, bold move there, Matter, for sure. And <laughs> Bold move. The, the, the big thing is the U.S. are going to focus on that one bridge, that, that bridge number two in, in Charlie 3 keypad, I guess it would be seven? Yeah, see, keypad seven or... And yeah. so they're, they're going to focus on suppression on the one side while they push two squads across with the Humvee to support. I think the Humvee's actually going to go to the south. I'm not 100% there. But... Charlie 3, keypad 7, yep. Those those discas are going to be the hard thing for the U.S. if they if they want to push in from the western side there. Indeed. They, they're definitely putting one dishka covering that bridge. They're also putting one dishka on the bridge that's a little more south. If they do try to provide a lot of suppressing fire and cover, though, if they're there for long enough, those two squads, squad three and four that Pony is pushing out north, will come in from the north, and they will flank them. So we'll see how that works out for them. Yeah, if the U.S. can move fast enough, they'll get across the bridge and most likely have the advantage if they if they remember to keep that 360 coverage. That's right. a big if, thing. They could get across the bridge, expected. but if... Yeah. Yeah, if there's a couple of insurgent squads coming right behind them and they're not looking, yeah, then they're wow. they're going to lose half their forces before they even know where they're coming from. So we'll see what's going. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be real interesting to see this play out. Well, it's always exciting whenever you get to see somebody take a little bit of an aggressive stance on defense. Personally, I like it. I like it better than just sitting around and waiting for people to come to you. Though we saw last round, Satan executed that strategy quite well. They had a few advanced squads, but as soon as they took contact, they pulled them back, got them into in place. They had that squad sitting down south that was ready to push up if needed. And trying to push through all these little buildings, clear out every single one of them. It was a war of attrition, and the insurgents won that war. Yeah, and that was also interesting that they had a full squad way south, way down south, like south of Souk. For they the barely US. got even engaged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which, or for the insurgents, which was a little. It, it worked. It worked. They were down there, but I, they left Palace pretty open with very few people on it, but it worked out. They they held them off. So. Yeah, there was one good push that came in from Tear Gun, Cool Breeze, and a couple of the other guys there. And Magnetic held that corner and did not let them pass through that hallway. 
And with that, that kind of stopped that palace push that they had going. It's unfortunate because they had a good breach, and once you get a good foothold, usually you can try to clear a compound, but they had to give up that foothold whenever they thought that they had an angle clear, and the second fire team moved in, and it was not clear. Magnetic had been waiting in that room. Put your finger over your mouth. Oh, yes, yeah, beautiful defense by them. Palace. It's good stuff. And we'll we'll probably see something very similar near the end, unless Absolutely. something goes completely wrong for one of the squads. <laughs> the insurgents here have created themselves a conga line, getting ready to push out. <laughs> they just made themselves a beautiful line. Oh, We're live at 138, approximately one minute. The U.S. are. Really hope the U.S. are ready. They're they're just congested though. They're totally a bunch. They're talking about organizing, but nobody's moving. Nobody's. Moving. <laughs> it's gonna be. Good. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, they're working on it. We're good. live at about 35. Now they're getting they're getting their conga line built a little better. There's the call of live. That's that's a little early, but they're moving. All right, then. We're going, though. We're gone. We are off. Server Air 404. Satan Command all the way in the front leading out there. That's a dangerous place to be for command. <laughs> yeah, he's sneaking through. There there goes the Humvee pushing in. Humvee taking off to the south. Going to go get in position. That's just Wookiee and Divine, just those two. I'm going to see if they can run into anything. Yeah. Wookiee is he's proficient on a, on a high-caliber gun, so let's see if he starts plugging at him. Fulcrum and your waifu is shut. Waiting on the other side of the bridge. Looks oh, like they're, they... They're digging the disca. They're digging the disca right now. That they are. Bird person, Shadow Ritual, and Jay Remick. You know, perhaps he just can't quite see it. Someone shot... Oh, they're on the disca. Jay Remick's on the disca. And down goes Wook. Wookie is down. Demind is getting beaten up. He's on fire already. Well, that was a bad start for the U.S. Their Humvee is half disabled already, so not good there. I, I don't know what happened there. There was complete breakdown between Wookiee and Divine. I'm not sure. I don't know. That was right. definitely not their best performance there. Oh, Jay yeah, Remick, Remick lit him up. Lit him he up. hopped on that dishka, and he, he just unloaded. He unloaded till he was that belt was empty. He had to reload after they ran away. <laughs> yeah, poor Wookie. He lasted almost a full minute into this round. That's, that's how yeah, it goes sometimes. Uh, I got it. Stay on the HMG. Digging up some emplacements around to protect the Dishka. I mean, they know it's there now. It's just uh, going to be able, or it's going to be if they're able to push past it or not. Oh, boom. Down goes Dishka Sneaky up to the Sniper. North. Down goes somebody else. We've got two, three down. No, just two, two so far. Dermoplast and Pier Parrot. Nope, not Pier Paradise. He's alive still. Jackal Purcell's taking some shots. He's. I don't know if he's hitting anything. Yeah, Tear Gun is just tearing him up on this Dishka. He's now taking some fire. In the meantime, Tedish has his squad to the north on the other side of police station. Tons of gunfire, but and tons of smokes being thrown. Nothing effective so far. That bridge is still wide open. Tedish just getting ready to push in here from the north. Merrick is about to run into Snazzy Toast, it looks like here. They're on opposite sides of the wall. They call it out. Heavy U.S. casualties so far. And Merrick is no. holding that IED. Is he setting it down? He's working on it. He's still holding it. Yep, he just placed it on this box. All right, here comes the flank of the century from the north. We got Tennis's squad, and it looks like X-Fit. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. Tennis 
Fun Blaze guy down goes down. Fire. Blaze down fun guy five. Oh, first call out right there. They, they finally called him out across the river north of him. So we can see the U.S. shift their attention here. Moose puts out fire and gets taken down. Moose, Moose a hero of the stream the other night, gets hit. No lat form to use today. Mr. Nope. Noodles, the next bit is down. <laughs> Mr. Noodles is down. Poke spots up to the north. Big Yes is off to the west. Tennis's whole squad is along that northern wall police station. I can't even I hear myself think paradise. there's so much gunfire right now. Laying down fire. There's, oh, Pure Paradise is down. That's a squad lead down. It is Suppression City up here. Red, white, and or red, blue, and black smoke everywhere. Grenade goes into the compound. Hurts Snazzy Toast and Jackal. Grenade oh, comes back. Tedish goes Hurts down. Curse, That's kills another squad Tedish. Leader. All right, we, we've... If something was breaking loose right there, it was hell, that's for sure. Where are we at? Six to eight. Six to eight, so pretty good work by the insurgents just denying the U.S. They've, they've taken out a squad war so far. Somebody tried to run across. That was That's unfortunate. Looked like it was a squad leader. Was that pure paradise? We've still got Pokesmont and Big Yes pushed out way out here. Big Yes is about to run into Truth Realm. And his whole squad. He takes he, down Serial. True Trail gets and Big it. Yes goes down. Tango down. Whew. The only other element really far out here is Poke Smot. He's still pushing around to the north. He's still on that mission, though it looks like what used to be Tedish's squad is pulling back. We threw you a little replay of Truth Realm taking out Big Yes there. Good one. All right, three, be careful over there. Copy that. You have any direction? Tedish's squad is actually pushing. They're pushing the bridge. They're going to run into this hill. We'll see if Magnetic, Hesmix, Sober Pud, and Jack Reynolds take him out. Kirsten's about to peek the corner. Yeah, we were peeking a barrel. They were going in our compound. We had to get out. Yeah. Oh, I, I think he sees him. I think he's yeah. seen Jack Reynolds. And so far, Keep eyes here. on the east. Squad three, bring it back west to us. Two and one. Odessa's throwing some shots. Not not getting any results though. That Dishka is still firing on Jackal as well on top of the police station. Well, yeah, one of the U.S. guys thought they saw contact in the minaret, but. That wasn't true. They engaged. Gaming Brennan is down. Someone just got Gaming Brennan. Take him out. Up here on the oh, north, good, Poke Smot. He's able to take down Damon the Rapper. He's got all the Truth Realms guys there. It's just down to three. Fafinator, Truth Realm, and Mighty Memes. Oh, Serial's up there as well. Big Yes is also. Oh, no. He's done. He's done. Oh, oh there's Pope Smot's GL. bleeding good. Mighty Memes got him. Right, Is he going to be able to bandage in time? Nope. He's oh. done. Good grenade. Great GL. And Fav puts a couple more rounds into him just to be sure. <laughs> so it looks like the U.S. have found the Dishka emplacement on the east side of the river from their position at police station. Mm -hmm. So they've got server arrow 404 or Bombardian, one of them too, uh, they Prone. Can't they can't, they can't get up. Were they will get shot. Like to our yeah, probably. What happened to the Humvee? Oh, well, that ain't Odessa's good. got her squad up on the hill, oh, just south of the police station. Squad four and three get oh, right down goes Bombardian. Side. He's doing the flop over yeah. by the Dishka. We're still crossing it. Right. Here's the turbo it's firing in at Cool point. Breeze. Ta trading shots back at one and forth, or back and forth on one another. Boosted has that AR. He's trying to fire through these steel plates that are here on the cool breeze anytime he peeks. If that's a negative, then one percent someone heard. Legit gamer holding an angle there. So that ID is active if anybody's got eyes there. The one. Squad four, lead. Just heard them call out that the IED, the scout that has the IED by the police station, is still up in the squad that is 
now commanded by Crazy Rush and used to be commanded by Tedish. So if oh, yeah, they push was, up uh, on that wall. That's Merrick, correct? He dropped that IED? Indeed he did, yes. He's still up. Um, well, now's the time to blow it. There's two of them right there. Oh, here comes two more. We're almost in position. Almost in position. Yeah, we'll see. He's not going to do it. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's all right. Divine is almost sitting on it. And yep. He's going to sneak away. The bridge, though, they're, they're still on the west side of the river. They're on the opposite side of the river. That they are. They have not been able to push yet. With all those firefights, all that ammo spent, all of the resources spent, they still have not been able to get themselves across the river. And that means that Pony's plan seems to be working for the time being. Yeah, the kills the kills are close. So we're, we're almost running a stalemate here. Well, actually, one, if you want to pull one of the diggers out. Um, I am hearing that the U.S. are low on smoke um, grenades, yeah, which are just USA, so key for crossing those bridges. Just, just get, you can set, take one of your diggers back, because I don't need two of them. And, and what I noticed was that a lot of the smoke grenades they threw were Both not very well placed. Absolutely. Yeah, Google's saying in chat, if INS isn't careful, they'll lose without the U.S. crossing the bridges. <laughs> I love it. They're well good. Yeah. Truth Realms engaging the remainder of Tedish's approved, squad. Uh, American now. Fafinator. Oh, yeah. the IED goes. He blew the IED. He didn't get anybody. I saw him. I thought he saw him pull out his cell phone. He's going to peek. Fafinator's watching. Oh, he sneaks I'm so by. Shot. I'm so shot. All right. Truth Realms sees Sightless and Cursed and Crazy Russian up north. Does he see Merrick, though? Nah, that's so. Fafinator dealing with Merrick. And actually, yeah, is. Two squad, one pro smoke, I'll be helping out Merrick has gone in and climbed on a bed. Oh, Mighty Memes takes out Merrick 362. Two, three, I'm spanaging himself. Single number 12, immune style. Crazy Russian, cursed, more eats, kids, and sightless all alive on the U.S. side of the river. Copy. Copy. Here comes the smoke here grenades. Here. Here we go, Bridge Massacre 2.0 coming up. Ten seconds. Here we go. More smoke grenades going out. Cover fire going. Jack Reynolds is leading the way. Leads the charge. Oh, makes net. It goes down. Silver Pud goes down. Jack Reynolds makes it across. Hess Mix is coming across. He makes it. Divine following him up. He also makes it successfully. Suppression is now opening up. Chappy jumped on the Dishka. He's lighting everything up at sight. And he goes down. Yep. So, so far, two U.S. soldiers alive on the other side. Hesvich went down, down. yep. Or, I'm sorry, that's Jack Reynolds and Demind. Jack Reynolds and Demind. There goes Together. Boosted Turbo. He's giving her hell. Oh, he stopped right on the bridge. Scary place to be. Checking his ammo or something. Yeah, that's rough. He tossed the grenade. I don't know if it was a smoke or a... It was, was a another smoke. smoke. It just landed right here. Huh. He threw it right in front of him. He's going to run out and live. He's alive. Three of them across alive. Jack Reynolds' Legacy of the Void about to hit each other here. Let's take a look at the kills. Very close still. Insurgent advantage. Legacy of the Void peeking that corner. And he goes down to goes Jack down Reynolds. To Jack. Nice work, Jack. Hoo-hoo, right, good nade. Hits boosted turbo. He's bandaging. Legit Gamer and Cool Breeze still trying to hold this bridge. Yeah, pop it right in there. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Jay LaChapelle. Jay LaChapelle's going to pop a nade. Yeah, right there. A little off. And Pony has just let his team know to all pull back. He's trying to get them back closer to the compound. He wants everybody to condense and try to fight closer to the actual palace itself. All right, I'm here in Satan. Say one and two, get ready to cross. Those are the other two squads that have not yet crossed. He's saying throw smokes. They got to go now. They're, they're definitely running low on smoke grenades. Yeah. 
Now, one thing that we haven't talked about too much yeah. is the squad that used to be Tedish's pulled off to the cross. east, and we're holding this northeastern approach. And it looks like they are just spreading themselves out there in case a another flank comes around. They were worried that with all the focus and attention that was being paid on the west, that there was going to be a northeastern flank coming around, but there is none. It is just a straight... Straight push across that bridge. All right. Well, the U.S. have thrown about every smoke grenade they have, and they are losing time. There they go. Snazzy Toast leading the way. There they go. Taking always, off across the bridge. Whole swarm of them. Always one of my biggest concerns. You throw out smoke. You have so much time to use it. Push through it. And they're doing that. They're, they're actually That's getting good. through there. They, they utilize those smokes. They push through. Odessa led the way. How they are now shooting out the buildings, shooting out GL smoke at the plat or the palace itself. I'm not sure if they're just doing that to intimidate them or what the plan is with that. Maybe trying to obscure their view, but the smoke from GLs is more for marking, not so great for cover or blocking view so much. Plumes just straight up. Looks like we got a fire team up to the north pushing the mosque area for the U.S. They are. The rest of them are all along that western bridge. Squad, so you're good. Keep pulling uh, southeast. Boosted says he bled out in chat. That's unfortunate. Copy. How does it was a great cross, though. Good job up there. You didn't get the bandage on in time, but that was a really interesting cross. I yeah, like he got it. You're one of the first three. Boosted was one of the first three. He took a grenade and uh, ended up bleeding out from it before he got bandaged. But... Sorry, Good effort. Five. I'll move my guys there. Good work. Copy. Jack Reynolds in the mind up north. More Eats Kids is watching. Is he going to see? And there it is. He takes Jack down Reynolds Jack. Demine is right there. Outside the door. Slowly peeking. Immune style is going to flank him. Immune style is going to come in. Get the, get the side on him. And Demine oh. puts out a frag. That was an anti tank. He tossed an anti tank out. He's going to throw something else out. There goes another anti tank. Not going to anything. Now, here's where Samari gets really dirty. This area with all these little corners, these little windows, murder holes, roofs, gets really hard to push through here. I got eyes down the alley. Watch out. Oh, there we go. First casualties on the southwest. Jay Lesh. No, that's not Jay Lesh. Bell. Someone else goes down. From cool Breeze, I believe, or Fulcrum. It's just a mine and Jackal Purcell up north. Or Eats Kids is going to throw a grenade. I'm going to follow it down. Is he going to hit Jackal? He did. He got Jackal Purcell with it. Good grenade. Oh, DeMind almost gets taken out. He's going to, he gets him. Maury eats kids, takes out DeMind. Good job, Maury. That's it for this Western. Snazzy Toast heading back. Truth Realm's got just a sh sliver of a squad left, it looks like. Uh, I think I'm the only one left. Uh, Truth, isn't it about time for us to fucking call in uh, Delta on a UH-6? Looks like Odessa's squad is trying to push in here on the southwest. They're staging themselves. Across the street, across the street from them, legit gamer. Oh, cool Breeze. hyper oh, with a wow. one tap. That was hyper evil with a one tap on Cool Breeze. That was just bat, and that's the end of Cool Breeze's round. Wow, what a oh. shot! Legit gamers peeking the window on hyper. Does he got him? Does he got him in sight? He might. They're so close. So just be wary of that. Oh, Copy. Hyper's looking the other way. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure legit gamer saw him right there. He had to. He right out, out enough. Northeast door. There sure. again. Yeah. Here it comes. Is he going to take the shot? He did. Yeah, he peppered with the PP. It's, that's why he's got the PPSH. Oh, that thing is not good from range. Oh, Hyper seen him. Did he? Yep, Hyper got him. Oh. He's down. Got him. <laughs> good job, Hyper. Hyper with the aim tonight. Wow. He's been watching my videos. <laughs> and that fucking tiny ass door. Fulcrum, the Dray only work? one that's alive in there still. Oh, kills are close. We're very close on kills. You know, and Matter and I were talking at the beginning tonight. We thought that 
what is the insurgent side now had had the better advantage just from the names we saw and our experiences playing with these guys but so far it's looking like the u.s is keeping this round pretty even so this is anybody's match right now absolutely i heard fulcrum over here he does not have any form of communication with the squad anymore and therefore he doesn't have any communication with command either he's calling out for pony and getting no answer because pony is not in local range for him <laughs> that's too bad all right truth realm has got he's got three guys here they're all on the wall near this near the river's shore Still got good local comps going on. Okay, that's a PPH close. Mori East Kid's slowly pushing the shore. The he's going to run right into Truth Realm, though. Truth Realm's not moving, so he's got the advantage. Okay. Hard to see him. Uh, we could frag over. But Truth Realm. Give us the order and we'll cross. Oh, he's going to get shot right here. Mori East Kid's going to shoot him. Bye bye, Truth Realm. Oh, he doesn't see him. Does it look clear? Oh, yeah, he does. There, he got him. Crazy Russians peeking around. He's got two more guys here to work on. That's Fafinator and Mighty Memes. Mori eats kids is coming to help him. Oh, Fafinator takes out Mori. Done dinner. That saw. That'll do it to you. Crazy Russian heard it. Immune style falling back. Immune's been running all over the place. Clear for smoke now. He is indeed. Olympic sprinter, this one. Maybe an endurance runner, I guess. So it's all Fafinator and Mighty Memes on the west against a couple guys, Immune style and Crazy Russian. Odessa's squad still alive on the southwest as well. Saloon number 12 picking up the minaret tower. Being scout. That's always a dangerous spot. One little one tap and you're done. Yep. I am surprised the U.S. have more smokes to throw. This is that's good for them. But... Squad 4. Squad 1. I think you guys are going south. Yeah, we're coming. Crazy Russian and Kahuna getting into it a little bit with each other. Crazy Russian takes a shot, goes to fall back, and he's going to run into Fafinator. But the cover is, from that minaret he, actually keeps he him up. He gets the nade. He gets the nade. Yeah. Kahuna got him with the grenade. Fafinator peeked that corner, and I thought that he was absolutely going to take down Russian, but Saloon covered him from this minaret. Too bad he ate the nade then. Ooh, more. Oh! Oh, oh no, we're good. Odessa squad pushing in on the southwest side. They are in the building that Fulcrum is in. They blow an IED. They don't get anybody with that, do they? Doesn't no, they did like not. It. Fulcrum is in this building. Fulcrum is right above them. And he's just waiting here. He knows that they're below him. He has to hear those footsteps. Now, there is no direct stairwell to the inside of this. They have to come up a stairwell that's outside to the north a little bit, if I recall this map correctly. Yeah, it's northwest. I'll go fly over it right now. There's actually two of them. They can come, ah, in. They all right. come in from the outside and from the inside. So there's... But they both meet at the same spot. Fulcrum has his grenade out. He tosses oh, it. Oh, he did. He tossed it. No one's going to be there, but... But it's still they. <laughs> it, the local chatter, the local chatter was really good right there when they heard that grenade go off. That's great. Actually, Fulcrum has his pistol out. It looks like he he has decided that that is going to be his weapon of choice for the last stand. Fulcrum yelling out that he has him. Yeah, he he might od tap. You never know. He might od tap. <laughs> you never know. Yep. Fulcrum did call out in local to Pony that they have enemies directly below him, so at least Command knows now. You know, I'm looking a lot of not not a lot of movement from the insurgents. It's kind of how they played round one as well. Friendly cross. You know, looking at numbers, over about 20 kills for both teams. Really close still. I believe the insurgents do have a slight numbers advantage. Maybe not. Command Satan pushing up as well onto the front line with Odessa here. Right below Fulcrum. They have not cleared that upstairs yet. Satan suggesting fire teams instead of a full squad. Odessa's going to line that out in her squad chat. You know, and Fulcrum could be out of out of ammo. He has that SKS, so be. it's not packing too much. Absolutely. 
That nade came like northeast. It wasn't in the compound. Yeah, it didn't over here. Fulcrum's got Turner here to his south. Well, that is, that Kahuna right below him. Oh. Space Monkey 2.0. Hyper Evo. Jay LaChapelle. Like Satan. Odessa. All right around him. And none of them know that he is here. He has been very quiet. Are your feet? Are your feet? Oh and God. he doesn't know where any of them are. He just knows no. they're out there somewhere. He hears those footsteps. <laughs> That's one you're near to. SL2. One fire team go there. One fire team try and, U.S. has stalled uh, a little bit. They're trying to get themselves together and make sure that they have a good organized push, I think. I don't really want oh. you guys using the uh, main entrance to uh, your east. See what defenses they have going on in the actual palace. Immune style and Griff holding this hallway. Yeah. Immune style getting good eyes straight down a hallway. And Griff sitting at these staggered sandbags, getting eyes on this blue door. Yeah, for the most part, the U.S. are just covering their angles and corners right now, strategizing among themselves. They've got Mighty Memes and Fafnir off to the west. Ooh, Satan has actually pushed up this stairwell a little bit. This one would lead to Fulcrum if he continues to push up. And he's got his Binox out right now. That he does. Fulcrum doesn't want to move. He knows that that would give him away if they didn't notice the... Uh, or if they did notice the movement. Oh, there's so many, though. Oh, what a, what a grenade. What a grenade throw that was. Almost got Best Pony. He threw a smoke grenade at him. Wow. That was someone actually threw a grenade in the door of the second floor and he had to run away and lay down. Fulcrum pushes out here. Oh, here he comes. He sees Space Monkey. And Mighty Beams has got it. Good job, and him. that's it. Got him, got him, got him. That's Thank what that you. double Holy stairwell shit. will do. Odessa's poking yeah. her head up. Holy she better be shit. careful. <laughs> you saved the right fuck out of me. Got press. this green smoke out. Or I guess I it's more yellow. Scared him. Yeah. All right, they're following Satan. He's making the push. He's leading the way. Griff is right there on the wall. Oh, here we go. Here comes the push. Made out by ready. Best Pony. That'll go boom. Let's see this peak, though. Griff's got that pillbox sandbag right there. All right. Turner's going right. Satan's going left. Here we go. Griff calls him out. He said he heard that they're moving. He knows that they're coming. Let's see it. Oh, Griff's seen him. Good job. Good, good peak by Turner. Further back the hall here, immune style see how holding this, this door. Oh, good nade! It's gonna get him. It's gonna get Griff. Oh nope, too far. Went a little too far. Now this is where they go. Oh, they scared him off. He's bandaging. He's bandaging. Here and bandaging. Oh, he's gonna throw a grenade. Iron Tyrant's gonna throw a nade in there too. Oh, he put it right in front of Griff. Nobody oh. didn't kill anybody. It was too far. Immune still holding that door. Griff takes a few shots there. He he gets it's a miss. Kahuna was looking at him, but he missed him. Oh, Kahuna got hit. So many fireflies in the way. Kahuna goes down. It's crispy goes down as well up on the top there. Griff throws a nade. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna get him. Le oh, Jay LaChapelle. Rack Good nade from Griff. I don't think he saw it coming at all. Ah, down goes another guy. Nope. All right, let's see if I can get the name. Trying back. to push him south, too. Saloon goes down to that GL. Very nice GL, then. Yep, Mighty Memes, I think, got that. Right, yep, he down. fired another one. Didn't get anyone with that one. Oh, and Shadowed Ritual takes down Mighty Memes. He heard yeah, those Shadow GLs coming in and assessed the threat. Oh. Satan down. That's command. Yeah, Odessa is still. now Odessa's now in charge. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh Odessa down goes Odessa. Griff holding the ankle or angle real good. No, here goes Hyper Evo. Down goes Hyper Evo. 
Wow. Griff's got that pillbox right there. Between him and Immune Style holding down this angle, Immune poking his head out when he needs to, that is a dirty, dirty angle, and it is there destroying the U.S. as they try to come yeah, in. Yeah, the U.S. have finally realized that is not the optimum place to be pushing right now. Yeah. They might have They might have spent too many lives. There's five dead bodies laying over there right now, and there's more than right. that that actually tried to push. So they took them a little long to learn that one, but they're asking they're doing a kind of doing a cas report but you're still alive in your name actually pony is having his guys set up kind of a a dead man switch over here he's saying every 30 seconds call out your name and if you're up they're actually smoking over the wall well that was a terrible smoke nice try space monkey he's gonna straight back in his face there we go there we go that one gets in is this all that's left for them? Fafinator, Space Monkey, and Iron Tyrant? That's it. All three of them. The three wow. of them. Wow. On the other side, we've got. That door. Yeah, we've got your waifu is shit. Immune yeah, style. Griff. Best, best pony. Shadowed Ritual. Fig. All still up holding that door. Oh, man. They are going back to the freaking death door. Are, <laughs> kidding, are you kidding me? Griff and Immune have not moved from this door. I will. I think they're just going to run across. Maybe so. Yep, yep, they're just dashing across. They're just making a mad dash. Ah, oh, they all made it too, untouched. Wow, wow. Now let's see what they do. Let's see how the uh, insurgents respond. They haven't Best moved. pony looking right out here. <laughs> Someone yelled, hello, is anybody home? <laughs> Best pony, Best pony peeking out in the windows over. Yes, we are. We are home. Fig takes out Fafinator. I'm, I'm not sure what Fafinator was thinking. Like, that door wouldn't be covered. And surprisingly, this main door is only covered by Shadowed Ritual now, and it wasn't before. Huh. We're down to Space Monkey and Iron Tyrant, and they're... Well, they can camp there all day, but they're going to die. Yep. Of starvation before the insurgents move out of there. They can hear Best Pony above them, but it's it's not doing them any good. See, the hard part is making sure the enemy doesn't see your gun as you peek. What the fuck? Get some of these names out of the way for you guys. Shadowed Ritual in the front here, holding this door. It looks like he's going to be the guy to get a little action. He might probably going to get lucky enough to take out Space Monkey. All right, they're getting impatient. Iron Tyrant and Space Monkey are getting ready. Best Pony has moved in to cover the right side of the door now. Got my hands, All right, here we go. Yeah, that's how this goes. <laughs> Although, once you're, once you're alive, the enemy has the option to go in again to, to deal with it. But, but the first few times, it's really intense. Space Monkey's ready. Dude, my first yeah, my second operation. Time. Did you just old man us? Like, oh, I remember back in my day. This is my second operation. No. So I'm... Griff just said that his palms are sweating really badly. This is his second operation, and uh, he's feeling it. He's feeling the pressure. <laughs> uh, good for him. Good for him. Absolutely. That's what Definitely. we like to see. We like those experiences. There are high-pressure situations when you know that when you die, you're done. Absolutely. So they're completely out of nades. They've got plenty of bullets, it sounds like. And let's see what they do. I think Iron Tyrant's going to lead the way. And Space Monkey's a medic. That's why he's going to follow. Makes sense. Makes sense. Best Pony and Shadowed Rich are going to hold that door to their best of their ability. All right. Anyone got visual audio on a US guy? Pony just left the stairwell. He's kind of walking around trying to get information on if everybody's alive. They're both looking at him. They both hear him. I'm wondering if they're going to use that since he's moving. Maybe that they'll use that as an opportunity to push in. But it doesn't look like it. It looks like they are just scared shitless. They're afraid to move. They won't move because they're so sh Oh, that death door. Go into the death door. Move back over. Griff, he can. Griff drops him. I got one year. And Space Monkey is down to And too. Griff drops another. Two down out front. Wow. That's game Good right game. there. 
Griff. Griff getting five at that door. Yeah, very good job. That's, that's what it comes down to, holding those lines by the defense. You know, they can Absolutely. lose the bridge. They can give that up. But, but good job. Great operation. Foxheart is always action-packed. Mm -hmm. It's always a good one. It's hard to keep up sometimes. It's really hard to keep up because action happened everywhere. Oh, boy. Crazy. Yep. Well, that was round two of Operation Foxheart. I got to throw a shout-out to our commands, Best Pony and Satan. Of course, their squad leaders shouted Ritual, Kirkley, Teddish, SM Pure Paradise, Server 404, Odessa, Expit, and Truth Realm. Great job by all of them. Two great rounds. Barely won by the insurgents. A lot closer than 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 normal. So yeah. the, the strategies change and the game gets tougher for the 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 team with the advantage most of the time. Uh, we'll let you guys go. I'm gonna read off the cameras again because those are the real MVPs that make this happen, all those different views and angles that you guys get. And that's Tedish Server Error 404, Truth Realm, It's Crispy, Shadowed Ritual, J Remick, Best Pony, Hyper Evo, Xbit, Crazy Russian, and Merrick 362. Big thanks to those guys. Big thanks to CMYK Matter for commentating with me. Glad to do it. Love it. And as always, fun. always, as always, we clap for Penn. He's absolutely he's the mastermind behind it. He brings all this together and, and shoots it at you guys on Twitch there. So so let's put some Fs in chat for Penn. Love it. That a boy, Pen. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll be back. We'll be back Saturday. We'll do it again. I'm not sure what the operation is, but these are always fun. A uh, brand new one Saturday, uh, Coyote Ridge. Brand new oh one. yeah, I, I missed the testing on that, so I don't even know what to expect. This is going to be super cool. <laughs> it's super very cool. cool. I was in the testing for it. Very, very interesting operation. I'm excited to see it. And if you guys like this, and you're not sure where to go to get signed up. Uh, head to squadops.gg and check us out. There's a link to our Discord there. That's where you'll find almost everybody involved with this. And and you can talk to us, ask questions, get involved with the community, get whitelisted on our whitelist server, play some public squad with us. Uh, Hang out with SFGG. Muff, which is the biggest benefit. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'll let you guys go. We'll see you on Saturday. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you guys coming out so much. Makes it funner for us.